Williams and the entire college. Welcome you to the Robert Travel Court here in the Milton H. Johnson Meltzer. Tonight's game is a contest between the Justin State Cardinals and your Chipola Indians. Let's get teams. First of all, this inside we have the Cardinals. Starting for the Cardinals, number one, Justin McNair. Number two, Kentucky's Tozier. Number four, Clinton Smith Jr. Number 24, Elijah Clark. And number 30, Angelo Foster. At first for the Cardinals, Dedrick Carter. get underway with the men's game here in the Panhandle Classic. Clint Cox coming to you live from the Milton H. Johnson Center here on the campus of Chipola College in Mariana, Florida. Robert Trammell Court as the Indians playing host to the Cardinals of Gadsden State. And Gadsden State will start out with the first bucket. Foster with the bucket. And some stoppage of play, and not sure what that is all about. Carlos Lemos handling the ball for the Indians. Up top, number 23, driving, kicks it to the corner. Shea Davis. Up top to Lance Irving, to Fields. In the corner to Lemos, driving. To Davis for three. Off the mark. Battle for the loose ball. Goes out of bounds. It'll belong to the Cardinals. Indians coached by Donnie Tindall in his second season. They are 11-1 coming into tonight's game. Number one in the nation. Number, I'm sorry. Number one in the state of Florida. Number three in the nation. Pressure put on. In the corner. Cardinals. Cross-court pass. They want three and a foul. And that'll send a Cardinal to the free throw line. Shea Davis going to pick up the foul. Number 
it will send Mentor, nope, going to be Dozier. Contavious Dozier, 6'2 freshman out of Lynette, Alabama, to the free throw line. First free throw is up and good by Dozier. Second one in and out, but he'll have a third since it was a three-point shot to which he was fouled on. Makes two of three. And the Cardinals have an early 4-0 lead over the number one team in the state of Florida and the number three team in the national polls. Indians in the white uniforms, trimmed in gold. Cardinals in the gray uniforms, trimmed in black and red. Another turnover by the Indians gives the ball to the Cardinals. Dozier wants three. Front of the rim, rebound, Indians. Dante Walker with the carom. Hands it off to Lamos, and the Indians set up the offense. Driving, Davis dishes to Lamos. Irving with it up top to Lemos. Cross court to Davis. To Irving, to Lemos for three. Good. Carlos Lemos with the tray. And Indians pull to within one of the Cardinals. Missed shot by the Cardinals. Walker with the rebound. Lemos wants three. He's got him. And the Indians with their first lead of the game at six to four. Lance Irving with the ball. To Lamos, lays it up and in. Lamos with all eight points for the Indians. Irving very unselfishly right there, dishes off to his teammate. Cardinals cross half court. Indians getting ready to sub. Dozier with it for the cards. Driving, shooting, shot is blocked. And he'll go to the free throw line. Foul is going to be assessed against Faison Fields, his first. First. It'll be the second team foul on Chipola. Dozier will go to the free throw line and shoot a couple. He's been there twice or three times already. Makes that one. He's made three of four from the charity stripe. Chris Gardner into the game. Dayton Albury. They will join Lemos, Walker, and Fields. Free throw made by Dozier. He's got four points. Four of the six for Cardinals coming on free throws. Lemos with the basketball for Chipola. Indians played host to Andrews College on Wednesday night, 190 to 68. Led by three at the half and win 90 to 68, so they blew it out or opened it up, you might say, in the second half. Lemos will get ready to inbound the ball for the Indians with nine on the shot clock. Does so to Fields, loose ball picked up by the Cardinals. Down the floor to Dozier. Driving, shooting, scoring. He's got six of the eight for the Cardinals, and they have tied the game at 8-8. Lemos to Walker to Gardner. Gardner pulls back up to Walker for three. Good. Dante Walker out of the Bronx, New York, six foot five freshman with the tray. 
Lemos going to pick up the foul for the Indians. Manzi Wilson. Manzi Wilson. Wilson, number three, checking into the game, along with Jamil Safadine, number 30, for Chipola. Off the glass, no good for the cards. Wilson with the ball for Chipola. To the paint, to Safadine. He's going to travel. Didn't get the ball down quick enough, shuffled the feet, and called for the traveling infraction. We played four and a half minutes of half number one, Indians leading by three. Shaq Traor checking into the game for Chipola, number 12. Amadou his real name, but told he likes to go by Shaq, so that's what we call him. Cards, shot up, no good. Treor with the rebound to Wilson. Down low, a drive. Will dish it to Treor. Loses the ball, but I believe he's going to draw the foul. May not be a shooting foul. Or it may be a shooting foul. Trey Orr to the free throw line. Foster picking up the foul for the cards. Trey Orr, six foot seven sophomore out of Harlem, New York. Played last year at Brooklyn Collegiate. Free throw is up and good. Played exactly five minutes of this first half. Shot off the mark, but rebounded by the Indians. Knocked out of bounds by Mentor of the Cardinals. It'll belong to Chipola with 15 on the shot clock. Manzi Wilson to inbound it. And he'll get it handed right back to him. Wilson to the paint, down low to Trey or his shot is up and good. Nice pass that time by Manzi Wilson to the open man underneath. He'll go to the free throw line, try to make the three point play. And I believe they're going to wave off the free throw. They're going to say a lane violation against the Indians. So six-point lead for Chipola. Cards with the basketball. Working it around the perimeter. They want three. They got them. Dozier with nine of the 11 for the cards. Safadine with it for Chipola to Wilson. To the paint, to the corner to Gardner for three. No good. Rebound, Cardinals. Cards with the ball. Frazier to the paint. Shot is up. It's good. Corin Frazier out of Sims, Alabama, six foot three sophomore with the bucket. Chris Gardner will set up the offense for Chipola on the wing to Wilson. Driving to Gardner to the corner. Albury to Gardner. Driving to Treor. Shot is up. No good. 
Nice pass that time by Chris Gardner. Treyor could not quite get it to drop. They're going to say the foul was before the shot. And wholesale substitutions for the Indians is five players out, five players in. Dante Walker, Lance Irving, Shea Davis, Faison Fields, and Carlos Lemos. I believe this is your starting five. Ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Indians. It'll belong to the Cards. Cardinals will bring it down as we've played nearly seven minutes of the first half. Chipola with a one-point lead. Ten on the shot clock for the Cardinals. Driving to the paint, ball loose on the floor. They get it back, and they're going to call the travel. So the traveling infraction will give it to Chipola. Walker to inbound it to Lemos. Carlos will set up the offense at the top of the key. To Davis. They're going to whistle him for the travel. So the turnover gives it to Gaston State. They've got the ball and trail our Indians by one. Nearly throw it away, but the cards get it back. But then they give it right back to us. Loose ball, who will come up with it? They're going to call a jump ball. Possession arrow will give it to Chipola. They most will bring it down and set up the offense. The screen from Fields. Inside the Fields, but stolen by the Cardinals. Dozier driving, shooting, almost scoring. Faison Fields gets the rebound. Rolled all the way around the rim and then popped out. Lemos drives, head fake to the corner. Irving for three. No good. Rebound Cardinals. Frazier to Dozier. And they'll turn it over. Goodwin could not hang on to the basketball. Parker Godwin, I should say. There's a drive and a shot off the glass for Lance Irving. And the Indians have a 16-13 lead on the bank end by Irving. Cardinals bring it down. Indians double team. Irving and Lemos going for the ball, and now they're going to get whistled for a foul. It's going to be Lance Irving with the foul. Cliff Davis and Manzi Wilson into the game. Shea Davis and Lemos out. So Cliff and Manzi will join Dante Walker, Lance Irving, and Faison Fields. And we got some stoppage of play as the officials checking something at the scoreboard. Cardinals inbound the basketball. And they'll lose it. Lance Irving with the steal, pushing it up the floor to Walker. He'll lose the handle on it. Battle for it. We get it back. Wilson, reverse layup. No good. And now a foul underneath. Let's see who it is on. As all kind of collisions going on down under there. Uh, 
Foster picks up the foul for the Cardinals. Two on him. Not a shooting foul. JT Warren checking into the game as Dante Walker will check out. Warren wears number 15 for the Indians, again in the white uniforms, trimmed in Vegas gold. Wilson inbounds it to Fields, to Warren. Drives, shoots, gets the, no, it falls in and out. Loose ball knocked out of bounds by the Indians. JT Warren's shot rolled all the way around the rim, touched every bit of the paint of the rim, looked like it was going to drop in, then popped out. Cardinals with the basketball. Frazier to Mentor. Inside they go to Clark. The dish off to teammate Trammell. Trammell. His shot no good. Indians with the rebound. The three-point shot no good. Irving with the rebound. Driving. Shooting. And they're going to call a charge. That is going to be the fault call. Charging on Lance Irving. That'll be two on him. So he'll have to check out of the game. Lamos will check back in for him. Shaq Traor will check into the game for Chipola as well for Faison Fields. So Wilson, Lamos, Davis, Warren, and Traor on the court. Lamos with the steal. Gonna drive, shoot, and score. Lamos with 10 points in the first half as we are midway through half number one. Traor with the steal of the Cardinal pass. Wilson kicks it to the corner. Davis for three. Davis gets his own rebound, shooting, scoring. Let's see what we got. Basket is good. I'm not sure what the uh, what the call by the officials were. Defense, 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 defense. 2013 Indians with the lead. Cardinals. And that is Dozier that will be fouled by the Indians. So the Cardinals will inbound the basketball. Smith will hand it off to Dozier, who hands it right back to Smith. To Frazier. To Clark. Drives to the paint. Pull up jumper. Clings in there. Elijah Clark. Five point Indian lead with just over nine minutes to play in the first half. Lamos with the basketball. Looks down low to Warren, to Wilson. Wilson tries to go down low to Treor with the bounce pass in the paint. Treor couldn't get his hands on it. Turnover will give it to the Cardinals, trailing our Indians by five. Indians with some pressure. This is Lamos on the basketball. Dozier to Smith, back to Dozier, back to Smith. And Smith will lose it out of bounds, last touch by Smith. And it'll be Chipola basketball. Carlos Lamos will run the offense. Nope, he'll hand it off to Manzi Wilson. To Treor, to Lemos. Wants three. In and out, rebound Cardinals. Lemos with the steal. 
Indians on the fast break. Left-handed layup. What balance by Carlos Lemos. Indians lead 22-15. Three-pointer no good by the Cardinals. Davis with the rebound. Lemos to Davis. To Lemos. Driving. Shooting. Shot no good. Tip up is good though by JT Warren. 24-15. Cardinals throw it away. Warren nearly loses it and then does lose it as he steps on the sideline. Back into the game for Chipola. Lance serving, Faison Fields, and Dante Walker. Cliff Davis and Manzi Wilson will remain, but then Cliff Davis will leave, and he'll be replaced by Shea Davis. Manzi Wilson with the steal. Drives the link, lays it up and in. Wilson with the bucket. Wilson actually was acting like he was going to come out of the game because he thought somebody had subbed for him. When he got over there near Coach Donnie Tindall, he said, no, you're in the game. So Wilson never left the court, but he turned, took about two steps, and there was the ball, and he took it the length of the floor. So perfect positioning that time by the Indians. Cardinals inbound the basketball. Against some pressure, they get it across half court. Working it around the perimeter. This is Dozier for three. No good. Rebound, Shea Davis. Down the floor to Wilson. Driving, pull up jumper, no good. Cards. With the rebound. Godwin in the corner for three. No good. Mentor gets the rebound to Godwin. Driving, shooting. Yeah, that's not going to be. Uh, that's going to be Indian basketball as the ball got stuck between the rim and the backboard. Manzi Wilson out. Lance Irving in and Chris Gardner in. So Gardner, Irving, Davis, Walker, and Fields. Four of the starting five on the floor for the Indians. They go inside, shot is blocked, but Irving gonna be whistled for the foul down low. That'll be the third on Lance. Lance Irving picking up foul number three. That's Lance is a six foot three sophomore out of Leesburg, Florida. Talked to him a little bit before the game. And he said, if you get a chance, say hello to Big Fred. Better known as Freddie Allen down in Leesburg, Florida. That is Lance's grandfather, and he wanted to make sure I said hello to him. Hopefully, Big Fred is listening in. And Lance tells me that Big Fred is a barbecue cook. So that led Lance and I to discuss various aspects of barbecuing as the Cardinals will miss the shot and the Indians will get the rebound. I'll finish that story in the next moment as Lemos with the basketball for the Indians to Davis for three. Good. Shea Davis for three. 29-17. So I asked Lance Irving about various barbecue sauces, and I told him about Carolina Gold. He didn't seem familiar with that, Big Fred. So I had to educate him a little bit about Carolina Gold barbecue sauce, and that it's my favorite, 
as Lemos drives to the bucket, shoots and scores. 14 for Carlos Lemos. Timeout on the floor. Carolina Gold Barbecue Sauce. How about that, big friend? You got to clue in Lance and let him know what it's all about, and I'm going to do the same. Indians lead 31-17. Timeout is over. Indians leading 31-17. Cardinals of Gadsden State with the basketball. Cardinals in gray, black and red. Indians in white. And that's going to be a foul on the Indians. Dante Walker went high in the air. Clark used a head fake, got him up in the air, and then Walker kind of landed on top of him. And that will send Clark to the free throw line shooting two. First foul on Dante Walker. Elijah Clark, six foot five sophomore out of Birmingham, Alabama. Misses the free throw, but the Cardinals get the rebound. Dozier, guarded by the Indians. He wants three. No good. Rebound Gardner for Chipola, pushing it up the floor, driving to the paint, kicks it to the corner for three. Shea Davis. Nice set up by Chris Gardner. Nice finish by Shea Davis. Cardinals with the miss. They get the rebound. They want three. Won't get it. Put back. No good. Lamos going to get the foul. Clark will go to the free throw line. Carlos Lamos picking up his second foul. And Elijah Clark back at the free throw line. Again, he's 6'5 sophomore from Birmingham, Alabama. And you know what they say, folks. Elijah could probably verify this. Ain't no ham like Birmingham. They have three players on this squad from Birmingham as Clark gets the second free throw to drop. He's got three points on the game. Indians leading 34-18. Less than five to play in the first half now. Three-point shot on its way. It's good from Shea Davis. Nine on the game for Shea. 37-18. Driving, shooting, scoring is mentor. 37-20. We hit the four minute mark of half number one. Indians work it inside, Warren. Off the glass, it's good. JT Warren, four points on the game. JT Warren, six foot seven freshman out of Tifton, Georgia. Played at Tiff County High School. Indians with the steal. Warren comes up with it. Going to drive, try to shoot, and will go to the free throw line after being fouled. JT Warren to the line. 
Again, JT from Tipton, Georgia. Free throw is good. You'll have another coming. 324 to play in the first half. Indians leading by 20. Make it 21. As Warren gets his sixth point of the night. And the Indians will apply some pressure. Cardinals break it. Driving, head fake, shot up. It's good. Frazier with the bucket. He's got four. Lamos with the basketball to Gardner. To Davis in the corner for in and out, won't go. Rebound, battle for one by Lamos for Chipola. To Gardner, driving, shooting, scoring. Left-handed, off the glass, Gardner with the bucket. Steal by the Indians, Davis with it. Wants three in there. He's feeling it tonight, 12 points for Shea Davis. 46-22. Cardinals with the basketball. This is Dozier. Long three in the air by Frazier. It's no good. Indians with the rebound. Warren down the field. Slam dunk. And that gets them all on their feet here at the milk. On the Robert Trammell court. Royal flush by J.T. Warren. Eight points for Warren. Off balance. Shot by Dozier is good. He's got 11 on the game. Lamos to field. Indians getting ready to bring in four players. Davis. Thought about a three. Now he wants it. Tried to draw the foul. Did not get it. Ball goes out of bounds. And... Shea Davis will stay in. Lamos, Warren, Fields, and Gardner out of the game. In are Treyor, Safadine, Wilson, and Davis. Cliff Davis, Jamil Safadine, Manzi Wilson, Shaq Treyor. They all join Shea Davis for the final one minute, 21 seconds. Wilson sets up the offense for the Indians. To Shea Davis, to Safadine, driving, shooting. Shot going to be blocked by the Cardinals. They run, they shoot, they miss. Safadine with the rebound. To Shea Davis, pull up jumper, good! Shea Davis, red hot, 15 points. Three by the Cardinals. No good. Safadine with the rebound to Wilson. Going to give it. He's going to shoot it. He's going to make it. Shay Davis says, get it to me. I'll shoot it from anywhere. He'll make it. He'll get fouled. And he'll go to the free throw line. Six three-pointers in the first half for Shea Davis. And a chance to make the rare four-point play. Shea Davis at the free throw line. Shea is six foot. He's a freshman out of Orlando, Florida. Played at Wekiba High School. And he makes the free throw. 19 first half points for Shea Davis. 
Shot clock is off. We're in the final 30 seconds of the first half. Cardinals with a basketball. Working it around the perimeter. Clark driving, shooting, misses. Loose ball. Indians come up with it, and that'll be the end of the first half. As Chipola will take a 55 to 24 lead to the locker room at the half, taking on Gadsden State. We'll be back with second half action in just a few moments.
Community College 55-24. Indians in the white uniforms trimmed in Vegas gold. Cardinals in the gray uniforms trimmed in red and black. Indians with the basketball. Clint Cox coming to you live from the Milton Johnson Center here on the campus of Chipola College in Mariana, Florida. Court side of the Robert Trammell Court. And we've got an injury timeout. I believe by the Cardinals. That is Mentor holding his left arm. He'll come out of the game and the Cardinals will get to basketball and get back to action. In that first half, Indians led as there's a three-pointer that is up and good. That is Frazier with the tray. He's got seven on the game. Indians were led in the first half by Shea Davis with 19 points. Six three-pointers. And then he made the four-point play that got him the 19. As the Indians will turn the ball over. So 19 for Shea Davis. Carlos Lemos with 14 points. JT Warren with eight. For the Cardinals, they were led by Dozier with 11 points. Cardinals with the ball. They'll lose it. Lemos will come up with it for the Indians. Pushing it up the floor. Driving, shooting. No good. Rebound. Indians, but we can't hang on. Then we get it back. Then we lose it. Scramble for the ball. Who will come up with it? Jump ball call. Possession error will give it to the Cardinals. Cardinals inbound the basketball and get it across half court. Working it around the perimeter, driving, pulling up. Now they want three. Long tray by Dozier is no good. Rebound Shea Davis of Chipola. So Shea Davis, Dante Walker, Carlos Lemos, Lance Irving, and Faison Fields on the floor for the Indians. Inside to Walker. His shot blocked out of bounds. Belongs to the Indians. And the... Indians do a little house cleaning down there. Remind you, the men will be back in action tomorrow night. They'll take on Jones College at 7 p.m. Indians 11 and 1 on the season. If they hold on to this score, they'll be 12 and 1. And Jones College is 9 and 0, so should be a good game tomorrow night. Again, that's at 7 o'clock. The Chipola Lady Indians will take on the Jones College team as well. That at 5 o'clock. Chipola Lady Indians ranked number two in the nation. Jones College ranked number three in the nation. Knocked out of bounds. It'll belong to Chipola. Shea Davis ends it to Fields to Lemos. Right back to Fields. He drives, he shoots, he scores. Nice ball movement that time by the Indians. Nice give and go by Lemos. Fields finishes it for his first points of the night. Three-point shot is on its way. It's good for Smith. And it's 57-30. Cardinals with a steal. And the dunk by Dozier. Dozier with 13 to lead the Cardinals. Lemos to Irving. Inside to Walker to Fields. Puts the shot up. It's good. Fields 
Takes it strong to the basket. Indians come up with another steal. This is Walker to Davis for three. He still got it. He was hot in the first half. He's still hot in the second half. 22 points, seven three-pointers. Another Indian steal won't be recorded as we lose the handle. Lance Irving diving for it, but he can't come up with it. If you're just tuning in, earlier in the first half, I, on behalf of Lance Irving, I did a shout out to his grandfather, Freddie Allen, better known as Big Fred. Renowned barbecue cook down in the Leesburg area. And I was talking to Lance about my favorite barbecue sauce, which is Carolina Gold. He was unfamiliar with it. I'm gonna get him some, and if he likes it, we may just give him the nickname Carolina Gold. Cardinals inside, slam dunk by Foster for his fourth point of the night. Jay Davis from the outside misses that one. Cardinals with the rebound. Dozier, he wants three. He's got them. 16 on the night for Dozier. 62-37 Indians with the lead. Manzi Wilson into the game for Chipola. So Manzi Wilson, Shea Davis, Lance Irving, Pays on Fields on the floor. Cliff Davis getting ready to come in, as is Shaq Traor. Fields will check out. Shea Davis will check out. Cardinals driving, shooting. Walker with the rebound to Wilson. Driving. Shot blocked, goes out of bounds. It belongs to Chipola. And Parker Godwin checking into the game for the Cardinals, number 10. Corey and Frazier checking out. Manzi Wilson. Inside to Treor. Turnaround. Shot is good. Kind of a little, no wonder he likes to be called Shaq. That was a little Shaq move right there. Kind of a little one handed jump shot. Almost a hook, but not completely a hook. Treor with four points on the game. Dozier driving, shooting. He scores. Indians with the ball. Manzi Wilson on the wing to Cliff Davis for three. It's in there. Cliff Davis says if Shea Davis can do it, Cliff Davis can do it. Cliff Davis with five points on the night. His first tray, 67 to 39. Indians with a 28-point lead, subs into the game. So we've got Carlos Lemos, Cliff Davis, Dayton Albury, Shaq Traor, and Carlos Lemos on the floor. Three-pointer, no good from Parker. Indians with a rebound. Lemos will set it up at the top of the key. Cliff Davis driving, and he's going to shuffle the feet. Tried to make the pass to Dante Walker. Picked up the ball, shuffled the feet, and the men in stripes got him right there. Dozier will bring it down for the Cardinals. Godwin driving, throws it away. Lemos to Davis in the corner. No good. Rebound. 
Cardinals. They drive, they shoot, they score. That is Smith. Clifton Smith Jr. with the bucket. He's got five for the cards. And he is with a basketball. Albury pulls it up, gives it to Walker. Tries to go down low to Treor. He does. Shot up. No good. Rebound. Scramble for it. Cardinals come up with it. Dozier. Will lose it. Indians will get it. Davis comes up with the loose ball. Gives this to Albury. Driving. Shooting. Scoring. Albury with the nice little floater right there. The little skip move. Hop move, if you will. And it's 69-41. Card's shot is partially blocked, goes out of bounds. First points on the night for Albury. Dayton Albury out of Nassau, Bahamas. Played at Sunrise Christian High School, six foot two freshman. Dozier with the basketball for the Cardinals. Jumper partially blocked. Indians come up with it. Treor will bring it down. I don't know that this is who they want handling the ball, but he does it. And Cliff Davis will bring it in as the Cardinals have knocked it out of bounds. Actually, Lemos will do the inbounding. Shot on its way. It's nothing but net for Cliff Davis. Eight points on the night. Two three-pointers. So Shea and Cliff have combined for nine three-pointers tonight. Carlos Lemos with the basketball. Davis wants three. No good. Safadine battling for the rebound. They're going to say he last touched it. It'll belong to the Cardinals. We've played a little over eight minutes in half number two, and the Indians leading 72-41. Cardinals underneath the basket. They lose it. Lemos to Safadine, driving, head fake. He's going to shuffle the feet and travel. Cardinals will get the ball back. And they'll travel. So back to back travels. That time, Kyrie Bryant, six foot three sophomore out of Birmingham, shuffled the feet before he put the ball on the floor. That gives it to the Indians. J.T. Warren into the game. So for Chipola, we've got Albury, number 25, Warren, number 15, Safadine, number 30, Davis, number 10, and Manzi Wilson, number 3. Warren driving. Shot going to be blocked, but he's going to go to the free throw line after being fouled. So J.T. Warren going to the free throw line. Free throw is up and good. Makes one of two. Ball knocked out of bounds. It'll belong to the Cardinals.
Clark with it. In the corner. Going to drive, shoot, and score. Clark with five on the game for the Cardinals. And it's a 30-point lead for the Indians after nine minutes of play in the second half. Cliff Davis for three. Good. 11 points for Cliff. He's got three. Shea Davis has seven. Cliff wants another one. Didn't get that one. Safadine with the rebound. Manzi driving, shooting. Off the mark. Rebound Cardinals. This is Clark. Ball kicked around. It'll be a kickball by Chipola. Cardinal ball. Cardinals inbound the basketball. This is Frazier with it. Cross court. Now down low. They'll throw it away. Albury driving. Dishes it to Davis in the corner. Trey just a little bit off. Albury with the rebound. To Safadine. Going to drive. Out to Wilson. To Safadine. He's open in the corner. No good. Ball tipped around, tipped up and in by Albury. Albury with four points. Cardinals with a stick back. That's Mentor with the bucket. He's got four. Nine and a half to play in the contest. Indians leading by 33. Safadine with it on the near side wing. To Wilson. To Davis in the corner for three. Going a little cold from the outside has Cliff Davis, but if you're a three-point shooter, you got to keep shooting them because you'll get streaky, and he'll make some more. He's already made three. Wilson down the floor. Here's the alley-oop, and what a perfect setup by Manzi Wilson and a royal flush finish for J.T. Warren. Cards with the miss, Indians with the rebound. Wilson to Davis. Back to Wilson. Driving, shooting. Warren gets the rebound and the stick back is good for JT Warren. He's got 13 on the night. Hello, Tifton, Georgia. Cardinals nearly throw it away. Clark driving, shooting. Can't get the shooter's touch. Warren gets the rebound. Manzi Wilson will bring it down and run the offense for the Indians. Gives it to Warren. Going to drive, reverse layup. No good, but he'll go to the free throw line and shoot. JT Warren to the free throw line. Played at Tiff County High School over in South Georgia in the great town of Tifton, Georgia. First free throw is up and good by Warren. He's got 14 points on the night. Warren four for four from the charity strike. Shea Davis, Chris Gardner into the game for the Indians. Cliff Davis and Manzi Wilson out. Warren's free throw is up and good. Fifteen on the night for JT. He checks out of the game. And Shaq Traor is in. So Davis, Safadine, 
Albury, Gardner, and Treor on the floor for Chipola. Dozier has the ball for the Cardinals. They'll do, work it inside. Shot is up. It's no good. Let's see what we got. Trammell put the shot up that was no good. Indians picking up a foul. That is Albury. Dayton Albury picking up the foul. That's two on Albury. And at the free throw line is Trammell. First free throw is up and good by Jaquez Trammell, six foot four freshman from Valley, Alabama. And he makes both free throws. 84, 47 Indians with the lead and the basketball. Chris Gardner with the ball, setting up the offense. Gets the screen from Treor, drives, pulls up, looks for help, gets it from Shea Davis. Gardner driving, tries to go Treor to Shea Davis. Driving, outlet to Gardner for three, a shot partially blocked. Shea will throw it up. It's no good. We had to do all that right at the end to avoid a shot clock violation. Don't get the bucket, and the Cardinals get the basketball. Dozier to Clark. Back to Dozier. Pull up jumper, no good. Rebound, Cardinals. Dozier gets it back. It goes to Smith. He wants three. It's no good. Rebound. Foster for the Cards. Ball knocked out of bounds. It'll belong to the Cardinals. And the Cardinals inbound it to Dozier. To Clark for three. The big man, no good. But the tip up, no good. Rebound, Cardinals. Put back is good by Dozier. He's got 20 points on the game. Gardner will bring it down for Chipola. Chris will set up the offense to Albury. Albury driving, shooting, no good, but the tip up is not gonna fall for Treor. Had two shots at it, couldn't get it to drop in. Cardinals with the basketball, they're running, they're shooting. They're going to the free throw line. Safadine will pick up the foul. Three on Safadine. D'Angelo Foster, number 30, six foot eight sophomore out of Piedmont, Alabama with the free throw. It's up. It's good. Stephen Augustine checking in for the Indians, number 24. Foster will have another free throw coming. Can't get that one, but we've got a lane violation against the Indians. And Foster will get another one. He'll get another try. Can't cash in on that one either. And the rebound goes to Augustine for Chipola. Shea Davis driving, shooting, his shot partially blocked. Cardinals with the rebound. They want to run. Dozier's shot is blocked. It goes out of bounds. It'll belong to the Cardinals. And they'll do a little mop-up duty down there before we get back to play.
Indians have three games left in the month of December after this weekend. So tomorrow night they'll take on Jones College at seven as the Cardinals get a bucket from Smith. He's got seven. So they got a away game with Enterprise State and then two games down at Gulf Coast the last weekend of the month. There's the drive and the slam. Steven Augustine with the Royal Flush. Augustine with two on the night. 4.41 to play. So two games down at Gulf Coast the last weekend of the month. They'll take on Central Georgia Tech and East Georgia State down there in Panama City. Augustine driving reverse layup is good. Correction, that is Dayton Albury. Not number 24, but number 25. Pull up jumper is good from Dozier. Albury with a nice move that time. He's got six points all in the second half for Chipola. 88-54, Indians with the lead. Under four minutes to play now. Manzi Wilson into the game for Chipola. So, Shea Davis, Manzi Wilson, Chris Gardner, along with Stephen Augustine and Jamil Safadeen. Augustine driving. Knocked out of bounds, it'll belong to the Indians. Manzi Wilson to inbound the basketball. Five foot 10 freshman out of Brooklyn, New York. Played last year at St. John's College. Gardner with the ball on the far side wing to the paint, driving, shooting. Rolls around the rim and out. Cardinals with the rebound. Smith wants four. Won't get him. Manzi Wilson driving. Shea Davis for three. He's got him. Eight three-pointers in the game for Shea Davis. Off shot by the Cardinals. Wilson with the rebound. Ollie Oop underneath. Slam dunk. The Ollie Oop. Augustine with the slam dunk. Stephen Augustine out of Long Island, New York. Six foot five. Jamil Safadine for three. Good. It's all working for the Indians tonight. Shot no good by the Cardinals. Manzi Wilson pull up jumper from the free throw line is good. Four on the night for Manzi. Mitchell with the basketball. A tray launched by Frazier, it's no good. Shea Davis with the ball for the Indians. To Augustine, to Safadine. Driving, shooting, and scoring. Safadine with five on the game. Minute and a half to play. The Indians have as we used to say in the old days, broken the clock. They've hit 100. They're going to call a jump ball. Possession error is going to give it to Chipola. Cardinals will bring in three substitutes. Indians will bring in one. JT Warren checking in. Shea Davis will check out. So Warren joins Wilson, Safadine. Augustine and Gardner.
Wilson drives, pulls it back out. Safadine driving to Warren. He wants three, no good. Rebound, put back, no good by Stephen Augustine. But he's fouled, he'll go to the free throw line. Stephen Augustine, six foot five freshman out of Long Island, New York. Played at Amityville Memorial High School. First free throw is up and no good. He'll have another coming with 105 to play in the contest. Knocks that one down. And it's 101 54. Cardinals will throw it out of bounds. Indians with the basketball and less than a minute to play now. JT Warren won. JT Warren was trying to go for the follow-up dunk, didn't get it, and they're going to say he hung on the rim and wave any basket off. Ball knocked out of bounds, belongs to the Cardinals. Cardinals get the inbound pass. Mentor in the corner for three. In and out, won't go. Indians with the rebound. Manzi Wilson with it. About two seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. So the Indians are going to improve to 12 and 1 on the season. And a reminder, they will play host to Jones College tomorrow night at 7 o'clock p.m. Jones College 9-0, Chipola 12-1. The ladies will take on Jones College as tomorrow, tomorrow, that at 5 o'clock. So 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock tomorrow. And that's your ball game. Indians get a 101-54 win. Led on the night by Shea Davis with 25 points. Eight of those were three-pointers on the night. JT Warren with 15, Carlos Lamos with 14, and Cliff Davis with 11. Again, the Indians 12 and one. That's gonna wrap us up for tonight. Wanna thank you for viewing this broadcast of Chipola College Basketball on YouTube TV. Until tomorrow night, so long sports fans.